Hi everyone, welcome back to my new model Barmy channel and something a bit different on the bench in the man cave today. Uh, this is the 124th scale uh, Sherman M4A3 by Watersons. So this is actually a radio control model. Um, now, given that I've never actually grown up, I've actually anchored after a radio controlled tank for ages uh, and I scooped this up um, just after Christmas. Uh, so let's take a better look at it. So this is what we've got uh, in the box. Um, this isn't as it came out the box. Um, I've actually done a, a bit of a repaint and a weather job on this. Um, so this is how it would have looked um, before I sort of did a bit of work to it. Um, I've applied some weathering, used the uh, dot filter technique with some oil paints. So you just dot uh, some tiny little dots all over the, the body of, of oil paint and then just blend it in uh, with a flat brush. I wanted to give it a sort of washed out, very faded paintwork look. And also you get these accessories uh, with it. So I've repainted those to make them look a bit more realistic and, and weathered them as well. Um, I've also added some uh, some mud. It was partially weathered when uh, when you take it out of the box, uh, but none of the bogies um, or suspension units were were uh, weathered. So I've used some um, artist's pastel with uh, IPA as a fixative just to uh, create the muddy look there. Uh, so let's just turn it round so we can have a look. So this is the um, M4A3 with a 75mm gun. Uh, quite a nice model. What I liked about this, uh, as opposed to some of the larger radio controlled tanks in 1 16th scale, is that they've modelled the cast texture on the turret and the front glacis plate really nicely. So that they've made a really good job at that. Um, so I just thought it had the, the beginnings of, of quite a nice little project. And being 124th, I've got the room for it. Um, I'm a bit stuck for room. Um, as my regular viewers would know, the man cave is absolutely chocker. So a 116th tank would have been much bigger. Uh, I've also um, painted the figure as well. Let me see if we can zoom in there and you can have a look. That's, there we go. So he's now got a rank, which I painted on, which he didn't have before. And I've also painted on uh, his third armoured division, um, divisional patch on on his uh, battle dress there. So, uh, and you get the uh, 50 calibre comes with it as well. I've given that a bit of a paint. Um, so uh, let's switch it on, see what uh, see what it can do. Okay, so it comes with a full um, sound installed. So we can switch it on. And we've got control over the turret movement. So we can raise and lower the main gun. Machine gun. And also the main gun fires with a sort of recoil action. It's got a, a battle function infrared so that you can use other tanks from the range uh, and have a battle with them. Um, and cleverly they've um, worked out all the performance of each of the tanks in the range. So for example the Tiger uh, would be accurate over a greater distance and would take fewer hits to disable the Sherman than the Sherman would take to disable the Tiger and it would have to get up closer. So quite clever, um, I've only got the one tank so far, so I've not had a battle yet, uh, but it comes with a sort of target thing that you can fire at, um, which is quite clever. But um, yeah, so of course you get all the sound of the turret moving as well. And of course you've got control over forwards and reverse. And that's all proportional, so you can creep along at a good scale of speed 
and of course full steering so you can turn on the spot and fully working suspension as well So there you have it. So that's the um, 124th Waterson's or Forces of Valor Sherman tank. So uh, I know it's a bit different and sorry it's not a, a, a train for my uh, Model Railway subscribers, uh, but something a bit different and I like my models, whatever they are. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.